Hello everyone, it is Lucy here and I am back with another video. In today's video, we are playing another part of LEGO Fortnite. We are at part number five. The game has been pretty glitchy today, so um, if it starts kind of glitching out pretty badly, uh, we'll see what we gotta do. But um, as of right now, I'm just going to play a little bit. Um, so a side note and a little bit of a, a problem probably is I have been playing on my own for a little while just so I can figure out the mechanics and figure out what we need to do and figure out all of you know the items and stuff that we need uh just because like I don't know I just really didn't want to be a noob and not really know what I was doing uh so I did play off camera quite a bit um so we have a lot of stuff to do and a lot of things to create for our village so uh, I want to create better buildings hopefully we can get that today I also want to upgrade my bench so that we can create better uh, tools and better weapons and things like that so I am going to do that as well uh, but for right now I just want to see where we left off so I know that we upgraded our village like a couple um, let me just see what else we need. So we need some more knot root, we need some plank, and we need some granite. And so in the last part, I didn't know anything really about the game still uh, because I had played like back to back. So I first started playing and then I just kept playing. So I have figured out a lot since then. So we do need to go into caves and we need to get knot root. Um, and that is a really good resource to build things with. And it, uh, you know, you use a lot of that in the game and so also there's different biomes which I didn't really even know so there's that winter biome down there and then down south there is a sand biome like a desert biome so I want to create villages in both of those biomes because I found playing on my own that that's the best way to do it even though it takes a lot of resources to upgrade all of like your workbench and all of that stuff um, it is really beneficial because when you go down to each biome you'll have like a village to settle in and you can put things in we also need to make chests um, so that we can put our resources in there that we gather um, and I didn't know any of that so so I don't even know if I put a chest in here. I did put my stuff in here though, which is good. Like I put my lumber mill and stuff in here, which is really good. Uh, what do I need to upgrade my bench? So I need knot root rod and I need marble slabs, sand claws and sand shells. Um, and then also we need a stone cutting like table. Um, and I am also going to like put all of my buildings down by the village because I think that will be the easiest and then you can kind of create a fence around your village. Uh, and you could put your village anywhere and I wish that I had thought about that more because I probably would have just put it up here instead because um, we have a little bit more room up here and just not so many trees but I put it way down there in the trees which is fine. Uh, so let's see, did, what did I put in here? Oh, I did put a chest in here, so that's good. Uh, and then also, uh, what else did I want to do? Uh, so what I, yeah, what I wanted to do was I wanted to see what I need to make the uh, the crafting, the stone breaker table. So I need marble and I need knot root in order to make it. So we'll have to go out and do that today. Uh, also grills are very important. So that way there you can grill food that you get. Um, you can't really grill the raspberries I noticed or like the pumpkins or anything like that, but you can grill uh, the meat that you get. And so unfortunately, um, I will have to kill some of the little Lego animals, but they respawn and they're fine. Um, but you have to like pet them and you have to chase these and they're really obnoxious to chase, but you have to chase them so that you can collect their wool every day. I don't know if I'll kill the sheep just because they're just so cute and I really like how many sheep we have around here. Um, so I may just leave them alone, but chickens I'll probably kill. I'll collect their eggs first. You kill them and you can get their meat. Uh, let me just make sure that I have some fruit on my quick bar here and I'm going to eat a little bit just to up my hearts a little bit and we also have to go to like different biomes because we have to get these charms in order to increase our health 
uh, you increase your health by getting the charms. And I think we have to get to different biomes. I can't remember. Or maybe like at the beginning, it's just upgrading your crafting bench. It makes you uh, get the first health charm, which is good. And it will just increase your, like your, I said, your hearts. Uh, and that is very beneficial as well when you're playing because you can get stuck into different biomes and then um, get really hurt. So... I am just going to go around and collect all of the wool and then I hate playing in the dark but I don't think I have a whole lot of bones that I collected and those also I need to make some of the tools with so uh, from the skeletons that come out at night so let's take a look oh yeah I did collect some which is good so I also collected some vines I do have a crossbow I haven't really found it to be useful for me the crossbow uh, and then silk thread I also need and bones are good wood is good I'm gonna create like a bunch of chests but I have to uh, first what I have to do is I have to kind of move my village or my buildings down closer to the village so that way there I can upgrade it a little bit more um, quickly because when you have buildings that are part of the village it adds to your village and um, adds to the village uh you know level so uh but i do have a health charm that i can make so i need thread marble and shells so i may adventure out and go to the cave today uh, but i do want to uh, build a grilling station so i can grill some corn because that's really good for you um, and it helps your your health so I will do that. I'm gonna go around, kind of collect some resources, maybe make it daytime in the game just so that I can see a little bit better. Uh, and I wanna collect some granite. I actually, do I have granite? I didn't even check, sorry. I always forget like what I have because that's what you make the grill with and I don't have any, so I have to go and collect that. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around, collect some resources, probably build some grills, maybe move my stuff uh, down closer to the village so it adds to the village uh you know level and then uh i will be back with you guys all right you guys so we are back so what i did was i moved all of my buildings down here basically so there's nothing left up there i also took care of the campfire um, and i brought a campfire down here so that we could keep warm this is going to be my house for right now um, that's my bed you can rest up there and increase your hearts but because i don't have a whole lot of hearts it doesn't matter right now um, but that's also my respawn point so if i die which i'm pretty sure i will because i don't have quite a lot of um, you know better weapons and things but it's okay uh, and then here's my villagers quarters and I have both my villagers in here and then a bed for another villager uh, once we unlock that because right here we are at level three we have not unlocked more villagers you can have up to four um, but you have to unlock them so our next tier is number four we have like branching out villagers assigned to wood cutting will produce more wood types um, we have a new house, a new bed, uh, and then here, level five is where we would get another villager and um, being well rested. Villagers will gain a bonus health and defense. So uh, that will be good, but I just put these for now. I also put in a ton of chests over here. Uh, and this is where I like to kind of just organize all of my items. So uh, right now I have meat, which I have to get a grill right now so that I can have grilled meat. Um, but I need some, you know, granite for that, which I can go get that. But right now I really want to go to the caves first and uh, get some knot root because knot root um, is what we need for the pickaxe and then we can get marble. Uh, and this is a really good pickaxe. I mean, it's not the best, but it is a really good one. And I will be going to use that and I can get granite as well, but I also need it for marble. Uh, so because this uh, pickaxe, which is level one, will not collect the marble. Um, and I want marble so that I can get a nice health charm and I can gain a, a couple hearts. So I uh, really want to do that. And those stack as well. Uh, so that way there you can, those health charms uh, stack. So that way there you can get more um, hearts. So I want to make at least two of them if I can. Uh, and then I do need to get wool, but that's okay for right now. I'll just go 
go to the cave, there should be one like really close to us. So I'm gonna find that on the map and then I will see you guys at the cave. All right, you guys, so this is what the cave looks like. Uh, it should be on your map. Some are not on your map because I think that those are connected to the caves, um, but that I think is down by the sand biome. There may be some here in the grasslands, um, but if you go to your map, there is a cave located on your map. There's another one over here. Oh, I think there's something after me. Uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's another one. Oops. There's another one over here, and I haven't really unlocked the whole map. So this is the amount that we have unlocked so far, but there is a whole map. So the sand biome is down here. Uh, it looks like we're pretty close to the sand biome. So, and then up here would be like the winter biome would be way up here. So uh, we haven't unlocked too much. The winter is pretty close to us because we can see the mountains from our campsite. Uh, but anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and enter the cave before we get eaten or before we get hurt by the skeletons. But this is what it looks like when you enter the cave. Make sure that you have your torch on you because it's very dark in the caves. Um, and then that is marble, but I cannot collect that yet. Uh, and there should be some knot roots. So there's knot root down here, but you've got to be careful because there are enemies around and they will hurt you. I don't know if it's skeletons. I don't know if it's wolves. Um, some caves have wolves. Some caves have uh, skeletons in them. And then as you keep progressing, so when you get closer to the um, when you get closer to the, like the sand biome, the uh, Oh, I'm cold. Oh no. Okay. I don't know why, but maybe because I stepped in that cold area. <laughs> um, but as you get closer, like to the sand, the enemies are pretty, uh, you know, they're pretty good. I mean, they will hurt you. So, uh, they are pretty tough. They have, it takes a lot to, uh, kill them. So, uh, but I don't think I have any wood, unfortunately. Uh, but I can collect some just so I can climb up there and grab that knot root because uh, I want to get as much knot root as I can. Uh, unfortunately, they did say online that the knot root should respawn, uh, but it didn't for me uh, for some reason. It hasn't. So I don't know if that's like a glitch or not, but knot root for me does not respawn. So once I collect it, I won't really see it again in this cave, which is unfortunate. I think that they're going to really try to aim to fix all of that, hopefully, because uh, I've noticed that a lot of people have been complaining about it. And so I'm hopeful that they'll fix it because uh, it's kind of, it's terrible that things won't respawn for you. And then as you get like towards the sand biome, you do need a lot of resources. So it is kind of terrible that things won't respawn for you once you've collected them because there's other items down in the sand biome that you need a lot of. And if those don't respawn, it's just, it gets really like sad and then you can't really play anymore, I think. Um, but luckily for me, I have found a lot of caves. So I feel like there is a lot of caves, at least in the uh, biomes that I've been in, you know, in the different biomes. I've been to the sand when I've been. I have not explored too much of the winter biome, uh, but the sand one does have a lot of caves. Ooh, there's marble here. There's also some arrows and some silk and another torch. I will take all of that. Um, some more silk and then there's some juice and some corn. Um, I don't really like the mushrooms, but I'll take it. And then yeah, there's some chests in the cave so you can collect as uh, things that you need. It's like resources. Um, and that's kind of cool because we unlocked another chest as well because we unlocked marble. I have some marble here, some rough marble. Oh, there's a shield. I don't really want that, but I will take the pumpkins and I'll take some mushrooms. Uh, and then I will take some arrows and some more corn because I want to grill the corn once I can uh, get a good pickaxe. Uh, and then can I build another one? Yeah, I can. Okay, because there's some knot root up there. Hopefully I can reach it with just that but I want to get as much knot root, like I said, as I can, because uh, I want to make some pickaxes and come back and get marble. But because we kind of unlocked some marble, I guess it's it's good. Uh, we got some of the recipes that was needed. So I'm going to climb up here and grab this knot root. Um, and there's quite a bit of marble in this cave, so that's really good. Uh, 
uh, and the chests are very important to try to grab if you can in the caves because like I said they they do provide quite a bit of resources for you uh, and it's pretty good so oh there's some granite that I didn't have to um, collect so I'll collect that because <laughs> uh, I do need that but I'm going to put this up here and then I'm gonna get my axe back and I'm going to just grab this knot root because it's good for you it's like really good uh, resource building I have found through the levels that knot root is a pretty good resource so that's why I think it's like a shame that once you collect it it doesn't respawn <laughs> Um, because you need it for a lot of tools and so if you can't create tools because you've visited all the caves and you've used up all of your resources then it's kind of sad but apparently this cave doesn't have a whole lot of enemies which is really good um, must know that I don't really want to fight today I just want to collect <laughs> um, I don't see any unless there's some deeper I don't know though it just seems like it's this part of the cave some caves are really long like some caves are pretty deep uh, so you can go like pretty far in the caves and collect a lot of things um, I'm not sure about the grasslands if they have caves like that but definitely the sand area has caves like that so it's been it's been quite a journey okay let's see if I can um, create just another staircase here uh, that way there I can collect this knot root hopefully I don't knock down my stairs if I do then that's sad but <laughs> yeah you can just like create stairs in the caves and climb up which is really nice uh, and so you can get the resources at the ceiling which is really good um, and then just knocking down these stairs so I can keep the wood. I like to do that. Oh crap. There's a there's a wood up, up there. Uh, okay, so I have three of these. Maybe I can make a health charm with just at least three of them. Uh, I don't remember how many marbles you need. I think it was only one per charm. But I'm going to exit the cave and head back to my village. So I will see you guys back at the village. All right, you guys. So we are back at the... Uh, village and I want to make a couple of health charms which we can which I'm so excited about we can make two of them at least um, and the cool headed charm is going to be a good one to use for when we go down to the sand area however you need to go down there in order to make it because you need sand shells so um, we'll have to head down there maybe in the next part uh, but what I am going to do now is make a couple of health charms because we can make those, which I'm really glad that I found those in a chest uh, and we had the resources for them, which is good. So I'm just going to equip those and they stack, like I said, and now I have a little bit more hearts, which is really good because uh, that will keep me alive a little bit longer uh, as opposed to, you know, just dying super quickly. So I'm going to eat some fruit uh, and just make sure that I can kind of bring up my health a little bit and then I'm going to rest and as you can see when you rest your hearts go up so uh, when you rest you gain health and you don't have to eat any of your food except you do have to eat it in order to um, bring your green bars up uh, but in order to bring your hearts up I won't have to so all of the fruit will just go to my green bars my energy so uh, yeah, so that's my health and all of the resources have been good. I did collect some wood. Um, I have not root now and I unlocked I unlocked a bunch of recipes as I was collecting so I now have the pickaxe that I can make which is really good because I need to uh, make some knot root um, let me actually put some on the table so I'm gonna put in like six just uh, for right now and uh, so I can make like a long sword as well uh, well that I need five so all right so I'm making uh, six so I can make my pickaxe uh, I have a long sword that I unlocked. I have a new health charm that I unlocked because I unlocked the marble. Uh, and then, you know, I can make torches still and all of that. So, yeah, some more 
tools have been unlocked as well. I do need to upgrade my village, but I still need some granite and some planks. Uh, which, how much wood do I have? I think I did put some wood in storage, so I might be able to um, make some more. So I will do that as well, so I can make some planks in order to up my village. And then I need granite, which I can go back in there with my pickaxe and get granite. Um, but I'm going to make a pickaxe is what I wanted. So I'm going to get six bones. And I can just take them here, I take six, and then I want to make a couple of pickaxes, which will help me out in the mines as well, so I can collect the marble. And there's a lot of marble in that uh, cave, so that's really good. Oh, I guess I didn't have, I guess I didn't have room for it. Um, all right, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put away all my resources. Now I have two peck axes, which is really good because um, I can take those into the cave. Like I said, I only have one of these, which I can make another one. Um, but yeah, my inventory is full. All right, you guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and end this part right here. We're able to go into the caves. I made a lot of chests so that I can store things. I also made a little house for myself um, just to add to the village so that the way there I could upgrade it. Um, but as of right now, you guys, I'm gonna end it here. Like I said, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will talk to you all very soon.